Okay, here's a video with a few tips for the new Fluid Math user. First of all, um, one point I want to make is that every piece of ink on the page matters. You know, on a regular blank piece of paper, um, they don't all matter, and a person looking at it can figure out what's going on usually. But on the computer, um, we think the software is pretty good, but it's it's not perfect. It's not as good as a human looking at it. So let me give an example. Let's say I'm writing um, a four, and <clears throat> if I put another mark on here, um, which you know you know isn't really part of the four if you're looking at it, uh, but the computer might think it is, and so I'm getting pi plus two instead of four plus two. So what you need to keep in mind is that every piece of ink matters. And that's not too bad. It's not too hard to keep that in mind. Um, maybe a way to think about it is write really neatly. Um, you know, if I can see, I can figure out what it was meant here. It's a four plus two, but really if I scribble away that line, it's more clearly four plus two. So uh, it's not really what was intended, but um, if you write neatly, you may find you get better results with fluid math. We didn't, we didn't want to require people write neatly, but you may find that it works better. So that's that's one thing. Um, if I add some other marks here, uh, you may still see four plus two, but um, the computer is trying to figure out how these other lines fit into the equation, and you get some odd results. So related to that, if as you're writing, as you begin, let's say I'm I'm writing. Um, sign uh, see, didn't get that there so this middle symbol is an I but if I put like uh, some other dots on here just some stray ink around the, the I it gets confused um, so this is just another way sometimes if you brush the screen or something you might add a mark um, that you might not even almost be able to see, but the computer knows it's there. So here's some more examples to the right of the sign here. I've just touched it and put a little dot down, and um, its computer thinks that's part of an expression you're trying to build. So what you can do, or something you should be aware of, is if you see these little they're, um, green dots, we call them, and they have context menus, so you can do some other operations but every yellow box that's on this page has one of these things and um, you know when you have a real expression you can use it in some useful way but uh, if you see one of these it means that the computer thinks it's uh, um, some ink that was part of an expression so to get rid of them you can you can just scribble over them and they should go away Okay, so let's clean up this sign here. Let's see, we were trying to write sine of x, let's say. Okay. So, and finally on this video, let's say, um, if you're wondering how to get started, maybe, you know, you have a blank page here with nothing on it. Um, but a good way to get, get going with fluid math is to just think about the math that you're working with or trying to teach or explain or explore and write it down. That's the first step. So let's say uh, I'm trying to look at a line equation. I might write y equals mx plus b. Okay, this is a good starting point. I can see it's recognized it. I'm going to set m equal to, let's say, one third. And I want to write b equal to 2. Okay, so I'm going to create a graph over here. You may have seen the... the um, the swoosh gesture to create a graph. This was, I just demonstrated another way to do it, which is just to write a big plus. And you'll get a graph wherever you were drew that. Okay. And if you wanted to put this math onto the graph to look at it, you can just drag it on. You draw a line from the yellow box to the graph. And this looks good. We can see here um, the y-intercept is at 0, 2. And we can see that the slope is uh, has a rise, 
Oops. Annotate here. I'm going to draw mode. So arise over run. So a rise of one and a run of three. Okay, that's the end of this video.